Welcome to part 3 of how to solve the Rubik's Cube. And now that you have the first layer, we call this the first layer because as you can see, with this top layer in this perspective is done, and also with the white face. But now that this is done, it's important to now change the perspective of the Rubik's Cube and put the white side down now. And in this tutorial, we are trying to create the second layer, other known as the middle layer. So all this should be blue, all this should be red right here, all this should be green, and all this should be orange. So to do this, you want to find an edge piece that does not have the color yellow. So this is a good piece to use. And like the other pieces, you want to match them to the corresponding spot that they are in. And as you can see, this edge piece is a blue and orange piece. So a blue and orange piece would belong right here, because orange and blue. And now this is actually relatively the easy thing from now on, because all you're doing is following an algorithm to put the right piece in the corresponding spot. However, depending on which direction you take this piece, this middle piece right here, the algorithm will change just a little bit, but relatively the same, but you're just doing opposite directions. For instance, if this was an orange and green piece, you, it would belong right here, but this one already is there. So we're taking this to the right side. And to, to do the right side, you follow these steps. You take a up turn, up face, left turn, a right face, up turn, an up face, right turn, a right face, down turn, an up face, right turn, a front face, left turn, an up face, left turn, and then you move it on down with the front face right turn. If you follow those steps, it, that piece that was originally right here is now right here. And the algorithm is important to remember because it keeps what you have solved before in the same spot. And that's all it is doing. And if you can somehow find out the pattern without having to memorize the algorithms, good for you. That means you really understand how keeping the placement of the cubes well is, is very important. I don't know if that even made sense, sorry. Can't talk. Anyways, so you just look around, keep following those algorithms until everything is complete right here. So we'll do one more. Um, let's try to find one we can't find one right now that will show you the left turn. The, I mean, the taking the edge piece and going to the left side. But we'll go to the right side again because it's a blue and red edge piece. So it belongs in the blue and red, in between the blue and red. So right here. So again, we're doing this. I'll do it relatively faster now. But it's a up face left turn, a right face up turn an up face right turn, a right face down turn, an up face right turn, a front face left turn, an up face left turn, and then there we have it. And you bring it back down. When you see that these two blues are there, you do a front face right turn. And there you have it. You have that piece now in there. And you we keep repeating these steps until the second layer, the middle layer is filled. But now we came to a problem. There is no piece that does not have a yellow, does not have a yellow piece, either on this side or the top side. So it's kind of confusing how to do because you might get confused, but what I do is just take a piece that's supposed to possibly go somewhere so this red side actually belongs over here. I guess you could do it anywhere. Let's do this for now. 
We're going to do the algorithm that takes this piece and goes to the left side because this red is technically supposed to be over here. But if we do that, this just replaces this this piece right here with this piece right here. I'm taking that piece over here. And we want this piece because it belongs in the right spot but in the wrong way, if you can tell. Because it's a red piece and a green piece. It belongs right there, but it just needs to be in the other way. So how we do that is a up face right turn, a left face up turn, a up face left turn, a left face down turn, an up face left turn, a front face right turn, an up face right turn, and a front face left turn. And if you did that, now you freed up that spot. But it's actually way up here. I guess it doesn't bring it exactly where it's supposed to be. But now that you have it here, that one is the only one that you need to solve for you to finish the second layer. So let's do that relatively quickly. If you just memorize how to do it, you can do it fairly quickly. Bam. There you have it. I don't want this video to be too long, so sorry if I sped up, but just look at the algorithms and you'll be able to easily create this second layer.